your favorite Our entrance sim, cast your burden unto Jesus. Number seven, four. This mass is offered for the special intention, the intention of the donor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In the first reading, we see people of Israel perhaps have created doubts in their mind whether God is ready to help them or no. Perhaps God is taking care of them or no. Perhaps the God's providence that they've been in question. Where is exactly the reverse position in the gospel where Samaritan woman who comes with the faith, perhaps she does not know about God, God does not know about Christ. Yes, she growed herself in a faith when she has a conversation with Jesus. Lent is an invitation for all of us to make a journey of faith, to progress towards perhaps the mysteries to understand the passion, death and resurrection of Christ, to make journey and to increase our faith, remove the doubts. As we take part in this Eucharistic celebration, let's recall our shortcomings, our failures, our sins and ask God's mercy and forgiveness. Together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have gravely sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray O God author of every mercy and of all goodness who in fasting prayer and arms giving have shown us a remedy for sin look graciously on this confession of your loneliness that we who are bowed down by our conscience may always be lifted up by your mercy through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen A reading from the book of Exodus Tormented by thirst, the people complained against Moses. Why did you bring us out of Egypt? They said. Was it so that I should die of thirst, my children and my cattle? Moses appealed to the Lord. How am I to deal with these people? He said. A little more and they will stone me. The Lord said to Moses, Take with you some of the elders of Israel and move on to the forefront of the people. Take in your hand the staff with which you struck the river and go. I shall stand before you there on the rock at Horeb. You must strike the rock and water will flow from it for the people to drink. This is what Moses did in the sight of the elders of Israel. The place was named Masa and Meribah because of the grumbling of the sons of Israel and because they put the Lord to test by saying, Is the Lord with us or not? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Uh... 
white masa in the desert when your fathers put me to the test they tried me though they saw my world Listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, by faith, we are judged righteous and at peace with God. Since it is by faith and through Jesus that we have entered this state of grace in which we can boast about looking forward to God's glory. This hope is not deceptive because the love of God has been poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which has been given us. We were still helpless when at his appointed moment, Christ died for sinful men. It is not easy to die even for a good man, though of course for someone really worthy. A man might be prepared to die, but what proves that God loves us is that Christ died for us while we were still sinners. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus came to, Jesus came to the Samaritan town called Shekhar, near the land that Jacob gave his son Joseph. Jacob's well is there. And Jesus, tired by the, tired by the journey, sat straight down by the well. It was about the sixth hour when a Samaritan woman came to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. His disciples had gone into a town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, What? You are a Jew and you ask me a Samaritan for a drink? Jews, in fact, do not associate with Samaritans. Jesus replied, If you only knew what God is offering and who it is that is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have been one to ask and he would have given you living water. You have no bucket, sir, she answered. And well is deep. How could you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us this well and drank from it himself with his sons and his cattle? Jesus replied, Whoever drinks this water will get thirsty again. But anyone who drinks the water that I shall give will never be thirsty again. The water that shall I give will t 
turned into a spring inside him, welling up to eternal life. So said the woman, Give me some of that water so that I may never get thirsty and I, have, I never have to come here again to draw water. I see you are a prophet, sir. Our father worshipped on this mountain while you say that Jerusalem is the place where one ought to be worshipped. Jesus answered, Believe me, woman, the hour is coming. When you will worship the Father, neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem, you worship what you do, what you do not know. We worship what we do know, for the salvation comes from the Jews. But the hour will come, in fact, it is here already, when true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. And that is the kind of worshipper the Father wants. God is spirit, and those who worship must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that Messiah, that is Christ, is coming, and when he comes, he will tell us everything. I who am speaking to you, Jesus said, I am he. Many Samaritans of that town had believed in him, on the, on the strength of the woman's testimony. So when the Samaritans came up to him, they begged him to stay with them. He stayed for the two days, and when he spoke to them, many more came to believe. And they said to woman, Now we no longer believe because of what you told us. We have heard him ourselves, and we know that he is really the savior of the world. The Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear people in Jesus Christ, when astronauts make their trip on the planets, the first thing that they look out is for the water around existing on any of the planets so far where they have visited or they have made the trip. One of the reasons is the water is an essential commodity for the survival of the human beings, or that matter, the nature, the plants, the animals. It's a basic need of the human beings too. In the first reading today, we have the people of Israel who are marching towards the promised land. And as they are marching towards the promised land, they are thirsty. But nevertheless, along with that, they are grumbling against God and murmuring against God and blaming Moses for it for making that journey. People perhaps once upon a time who believed on God, they are very same people questioning and doubting on God's providence. The God who parted the Red Sea and brought them out of the slavery of King Pharaoh and leading towards uh, the promised land are the same people who are questioning God authenticity or perhaps questioning God's help and the providence that has been provided throughout the years. And that shows their belief and the faith of the people of Israel. Very shallow, very perhaps not so deep and which is just for the, the accounting for their basic needs. Whereas the other hand, we have the gospel. In the gospel, we have Samaritan woman who was making an, another encounter with an encounter with Jesus where she makes a journey of faith with Jesus. Jesus is passing through the Galilee. He's, he's returning to the Galilee, but to route towards Galilee, he takes the Samaritan village, a village perhaps which is away from the Galilee. Perhaps people of Galilee and the Samaritans would never associate with each other because of their enmity that existed beforehand. And therefore the gospel very clearly mentioned in fact, the woman herself says, how come a Jew is asking water from Samaritan? Because this, just, this is just to indicate to that enmity was already been existed for the centuries ago between those two tribes. One thing that Jesus wants to reconcile between these two tribes 
But more than that, Jesus wants to make the journey of faith. When he comes, it was an afternoon. Perhaps the, the disciples have gone in a marketplace to buy, buy food. He's thirsty. And he begins the conversation with the woman. The first thing he asks for a water. And she's uh, with her shallow faith. She begins to say, How can you ask a uh, water from a woman, a Samaritan? Then she says, You have no bucket. How do you draw the water? The first instance is she refers him as a sir. Then as the whole talk begins or perhaps the conversation begins, she began to understand, of course, the gospel that we chose or the shorter version. We'll come to know then Jesus talks about her life, her questions about her, how many husbands she has and she reveals the entire truth. Then she recognizes that he's not just a sir, but he's someone who's a much more than sir and then the teacher he is uh, someone who knows everything then she, therefore she recalls or she calls him a prophet after that once again the further conversation takes place and then she calls him a messiah the point that i am making that the journey of faith that samaritan woman makes from known unknown to known from where she does not know anything where she comes to believe in christ not only that Afterwards, she goes to the town. She tells the villagers that I have found someone who is a Messiah, who knows everything. And she invites him to back to the, their village. And finally, she becomes an apostle or rather the disciple or the messenger of his message to the whole town. And whole town comes to believe in him. Afterwards, they themselves say, we believe in him not because you shared with us, but rather we have experience. This is how she makes an impression of entire faith life. She begins with small and then she goes on believing and if increasing her faith and drawing more closer to Jesus. My dear people, the first reading and the gospel are two perhaps contradictory. The people who knew about God are questioning God. Whereas the person who unknown about God been believe, come, has come to believe in God. My dear people, season of land is the journey, is the journey of faith that we make. We come before the Lord and we make our journey slowly and smoothly, recalling perhaps and taking ourselves forward with the God and see what are the areas that I need to perhaps to come before the God and disclose it. As the Samaritan woman discloses her entire life that she lived and that's how she gains a more faith and she begins to understand who Jesus is. For us also, season of Lent is an invitation that we come before the Lord and disclose ourselves completely to become open front of Him and to allow Him to work, to allow His, or to allow His to grace to work in our lives and experience His mercy. And that is what the journey of faith, my dear people. The other thing, Perhaps this faith aspect also deals with our daily life. We all of us perhaps have some of the other crises or the difficulties that we encounter in our life. Maybe in our family life, maybe in our personal life, maybe in the community life that we live, or maybe in our workplaces. We all of us have go through it, my dear people, some of the other crises, the difficulties or the challenges that we face. In the midst of these challenges and this crisis, how do I act or how do I respond? Do I question God like people of Israel who question God? Or rather, I begin to trust more. I draw myself more closer to Jesus. My dear people, at present, the condition of the world, condition of our country, we all of us are know, perhaps we all of us have been struggling and knowing what will be the solution towards the coronavirus. My dear people, how many of us are perhaps taking this as a sign, as sign for us to know that we need to pray to God. We need to come before the God and say, God, we come before you and we surrender ourselves. My dear people, whenever the, any message that comes on a WhatsApp or the Instagram, most of the time perhaps we spend on forwarding that messages to the people. But more than that, my dear people, can we pray? Can we say a decade of rosary? Can we say, let us come and together pray that God may give us a solution. My dear people, with the faith, the things can be transformed. The things can be changed. The things can bring us to the solution. 
the impossible things become possible with the faith the miracles happen my dear people when it is accompanied by faith and the prayer and therefore today perhaps it's a reminder for all of us that not to get panic not to perhaps give up our hope not to perhaps just to give up our hopes that we have in the lord not to question or not to perhaps to blame the other countries or the people but rather my dear people come before the lord in in faith and pray and i'm sure when we come before the lord in prayer he will definitely give us the solution because if he could my dear people set people of israel free by parting the red sea definitely he will part this corona virus and he will definitely give us the solution what we need is the prayer what we need is our faith in a god rather than my dear people whenever we have these messages across passing not to perhaps to get too panic not to forward these messages without having the authenticity but rather my dear people at that moment one thing that you can do maybe say a uh, one our father three hail mary pray for the doctors pray for the people who are working behind this to take this situation into control my dear people all this is a part of our faith all this is an expression that we make towards god and i'm sure god will work when each one of us surrender ourselves before god in faith he will give us an outbreak towards this let us my dear people trust in god he will never leave us apart he will always guide us when we come before him the miracles happens my dear people when you and i express our faith in prayer amen let us stand and profess our faith i believe in god the father almighty the creator of heaven and earth and jesus christ only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day rose again from the dead he ascended into the heaven and sits at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of our sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Mindful of God's mercy to Saint Paul and to Samaritan woman, let us raise our hearts and mind in prayer for our needs and the needs of the world. Our response is. Lord hear, Lord, hear us. Kindly repeat. Lord, hear us. For the Church, Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and religious, that they continue to be channels of God's gift of living water in baptism. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear us. us. For all those who are weighed down by sin, may they find the freedom in knowledge of God, Christ's mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear us. us for tranquility and healing in face of the corona virus crisis and recovery of the ill the hospitalized and for all caregivers and volunteers we pray to the lord lord hear us for the peaceful development of people in the world for those who thirst for righteousness peace and life those suffering from natural diseases and political unrest and for all those who suffer injustice or poverty we pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear us. us for our personal needs and the needs of the parish community we pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear us. us help us lord during the season of lent to grow in faith hope and love we make this prayer to christ our lord amen, amen. our offertory hymn number 254 lord accept this bread and wine number 254 
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Be pleased, O Lord, with these sacrificial offerings. Grant that we who beseech pardon for our own sins may take care to forgive our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. For when he asked the Samaritan woman for water to drink, he had already created the gift of faith within her. And so ardently he, he did her thirst for her faith, that he kindled in her the fire of mine love. And so we too give you thanks with all the angels and praise your mighty deeds as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy that for this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dew fall so that they may become for us body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time you were betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Savior, Savior of the world, for my and resurrection you have set us free therefore as you celebrate memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord a bread of life and chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held this worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Cardinal Oswald Gracious Archbishop, Alvin Barthold Savio John, Auxiliary Bishops, and all the clergy. Let us pray for the intention of this Mass. We also pray for people who are in need of our prayer, especially people who are sick. We pray to Lord for the outbreak of this coronavirus that God may protect the world, our country, our people, especially the people who are sick, who are affected, the doctors who are working, that, that there may be success in that findings, that God may provide us the remedy towards it. We pray for all of us who are gathered here. We pray for all the departed members. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and we praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command from a divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us Lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace to our days that by help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all the distress as we wear the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give unto you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other loving sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that it should come under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. May I request all of you as a 
directives given by the Archbishop. Please receive the Holy Communion in the hands and not on the tongue, just for the safety and the preventive of our community, for the good of the community and good of all. Thank you.
let us pray as we receive the pledge of the things yet hidden in heaven and are nourished while still on earth with the bread that comes from on high we humbly entreat you o lord that what is being brought about in us in mystery may come to completion through christ our lord kindly join in prayer for the karuna prayer pray almighty and merciful god who show your love to all creation everywhere hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the corona virus in various parts of the world we come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak for a healing of those affected for the victims and their families we pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found we pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people we make this prayer through christ our lord amen announcements precautionary steps prescribed by archbishop of bombay his eminence oswal cardinal gracious please do not shake hands at the sign of peace but greet each other with folded hands receive the holy communion in the hand and not on the tongue requesting parishioners to follow the same charai south community stations of the cross for the home bound is cancelled Lenten missions will be held on 20, 20th, 21st and 22nd March in Hindi, Marathi after the evening mass. On 27th, 28th and 29th March in English after the evening mass. The career exhibition, seminar, interactive session and advice for the students completing HSC is organized by Diocesan Youth Center at St Pius College Diocesan Seminary Goregaon Mumbai on 22nd March from 9:30 a.m. to 5:30 p.m. Registration charges rupees 150 All those who are interested are requested to please register your names at the church office latest by Monday 16th March with the registration charges transport will be arranged by the church there are various other programs for adults graduates working single men and women please look up the notice board for further details to be held at goregaon seminary our archdiocese is is organizing a special recollection for the extraordinary ministers of holy communion and lectors on saturday 21st march from 9:30 a.m. till 12 noon in the pavilion kindly give your names to the head of eucharistic ministry latest by tuesday 17th march next sunday 22nd march the 7 a.m. mass will be in konkani in honor of saint joseph offered by the konkani catholic association followed by the annual general body meeting of the members in the pavilion Last Sunday's collection rupees seventy four thousand one hundred, OLPS collection rupees eight thousand eight hundred and eighty. We thank you for your generosity. Few announcements as declared by the government. Saint John School and Junior College remain closed for the students till thirty first of March twenty twenty. Nevertheless, SSC board exams. remain as per schedule schools and college exams will be rescheduled thank you for your cooperation signed by principal also my dear this this announcement for the all the sales and association of our parish you can reschedule your meetings monthly or weekly meeting unless that meeting is very important and urgent and emergency matters to be discussed then only you can go with your 
meetings of the monthly or weekly meetings otherwise if possible you can reschedule your meetings and your work also the important for the please as we know do not get panic my dear people rather pray i'm sure god will provide us some solution towards it avoid traveling avoid unnecessary traveling perhaps but rather spend time in prayer it's nice time for us season of lane gives us an opportunity to surrender ourselves before god in prayer can we stand for the final blessings can we bow your heads for the god's blessing today o lord we pray the hearts of your faithful that in your kindness grant your servants this grace and abiding in love of you and their neighbor may they be faithful to the whole of your commands through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may the blessings of almighty god father son and the holy spirit descend upon you and remain with you always amen go in peace of christ thanks be to god our recessional hymn number 200 i've got a river of life